Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a brisk November morning. Uh, as you can see, it's 8.30. We're getting started a little later every day. The sun is not coming up so quick, and it's going down very, very early in the afternoon. So we have a very busy day ahead of us today. We have uh, all of our baling that we did not get done yesterday we've got to get that off the field the grass is starting to grow again so we definitely have to get it all bailed up and and put away uh we have to run some water over to the greenhouses we have to purchase some food for the pigs and get it into the sty um i was thinking about cutting down the trees that border our fields because well they're getting annoying um we've got our field over there that uh, we had plowed and rolled and picked the stones out of. We've got to get some fertilizer in there. And we've got to check the price on tomatoes and see if it's worth selling off the pallets of tomatoes that we have. So we've got a busy, busy day today. I'm going to try and remember all of the stuff that we need to do. Very unlikely. <laughs> But we'll start with the one that's going to take the longest. We'll uh, we'll get the baling going because all that cut grass sitting on the field is not going to be good for the next crop of grass that's growing in. So let's get the bales made and wrapped and off that field and put into the loft. So we'll run over here and get to work. Um, I still haven't had an opportunity to figure out what it is that is the complete pig food. I know we can buy it. It's like 900 bucks for a big bag. And because I have not figured out yet what exactly is inside that pig food, what makes it, um, we're probably going to be stuck with purchasing a couple more bags uh, they do still have some food left from the last batch that I bought but uh, I don't know how much they're gonna have and how long because we bought so many more pigs like they're they're eventually gonna chew through that pretty fast so um, I think it's just a smart thing that we rush over to the store at some point today and we'll We'll pick them up some more food and at some point I'm going to have to figure out what that pig food is made from so we can hopefully make some in-house. I don't know if we're going to have everything we need to make it though because I, I assume it's probably going to have some, some root crops in there that are going to be involved. So, is this bale not dropping by itself? The last one did. No, nope, it's just sitting. Okay. Let's, uh, must have bumped the, the key and turned off the automatic drop. Oh, the first one didn't drop, and that's the second one trying to get out and get wrapped. Whoops. Okay, let's get this, uh, Back in action here. And uh, we'll continue on with getting all this grass picked up and bales made. So what we'll do is, because this is going to be a big job, as we know, is we'll, uh, we'll switch to the outside camera and we'll time lapse this whole process up and get her done. So we'll bring you back when we're done with all the bales and we'll get them all picked up.
right, folks, welcome back. We uh, we did kind of a little jump cut in as well as a time lapse because oh, it was a calamity of errors. Uh, we kind of weren't paying attention to what we were doing, and we ran over a bale and got top centered. Uh, we ran out of fuel twice. We ran out of foil wrap once. Like, oh my lord. We just had everything that could possibly go wrong on this journey go wrong, so... <laughs> uh, there was a few things that, that got cut out for the sake of making me not look quite so foolish and saving the time of you guys having to watch me run back and forth 15 times to, uh, to fix all the problems, so... Um, but anyways, the bailing is done which is good so we can uh, we can move on to the other items on our list that we had to get through today I'm just gonna get this tractor out of the fuel area a little bit of a pain having it be in there and we don't use this tractor as often as we use the other one so we'll just stick it over in the corner here and uh, give ourselves access to our fueling station because we're probably going to run out of fuel for the third time in this guy if we don't we'll get her topped up here and then we've got as i said uh, quite a quite a list of things to to look after today so let's do the first one which is we're going to get some water and make it over to the greenhouse and then we're gonna make the run down to the store and get uh, get some more food for the pigs and then we'll kind of see what the priorities are like I said I do I do want to cut down all these trees around our field uh, particularly this grass field where they're a little bit of a pain in the butt um, both for seeing what's going on while we're driving around, but it's also just a little bit of a pain to work around the trees, so I think we'll end up getting those ripped down and dealt with kind of as a priority for today. I would like to get... Um, I don't know if we're going to necessarily put our silage bales in the loft because it's a little bit of a pain to pick them up and get them out. So we might just end up stacking them somewhere else and uh, make our lives easy. Also lets us check on the silage bales um, a little bit easier as well. Why is this not letting me fill this water tanker? What the heck is going on here? Oh, did I... Is this the slurry tanker? Yes, it is. I'm a dipstick. But I was looking at it and I was like, Is this the water tanker? But no, we left the slurry tanker sitting here by the pigs. And we put the water tanker over by the greenhouse where the water goes in <laughs> oh my goodness all right let's get over here and pick up the proper tool for the job and that will make our life so much easier okay off we go over to the greenhouse All right, well, while we're over here, we can also look and see what we've got for Edo. Make sure we don't drive in that farmer's field next door. That would not be good. Okay. Ah, we're not close enough yet. There we go. Now we're close enough. 
Okay, let's go get some water. But first, I said we we're gonna see our tomato pallets. Ooh, we're at four pallets. Nice. Uh, what kind of a price do we have on tomatoes at the time here? Oh, where's our tomatoes? Right there. Oh my goodness. Look at the... Wow! Thousand bucks for a uh, thousand liters. That's nice. The only problem is, is that those pallets are only uh, 500 liter pallets, so it's a little bit deceiving. So we're only going to get a couple thousand bucks for that, but that's some good money. Attack of the sneezes. Haven't had one of those in a while. All right, so we are definitely going to have to uh, get these pallets loaded up and get them run over to the store today. That'll be a nice little bit of income. But first things first, let's get the water refilled for these tomatoes. And uh, then we'll go from there. I'll bring you right back. All right, folks, uh, sorry for that little jump cut there, but we had to do it as I've been sneezing for about the last seven minutes straight. <laughs> it just does not want to stop. Let's get this water all pumped over into this container here. All right, we've got lots of water in there now, almost uh, 4,100 liters, so that should hold for a, a couple of months. Fingers crossed we can... I think we're going to drive on this crop and get a penalty. Yeah, there we go. We're destroying the other farmer's crop. Damn. I was hopeful we could make the turn and, and not hit that field, but just went in there a little bit. Alright, this water tank I'm not going to leave over here because I know that will lead to me forgetting and getting confused again and grabbing the wrong tank so let's just get them both over here we're gonna put this one I think over in this little corner here got this nice little nice little corner over here we can hide it in for now I'll probably still get confused and lose it but <laughs> what you gonna do Okay, let's try and get this thing backed up. This corner over here. Beautiful. Okay, so the next thing on our list, we were going to grab some food for the pigs. Now that's going to require us to go to the store and pick it up because we currently don't have a means of making it for ourselves. So. Let's, uh, I was going to park the tractor in here, but I'm going to need, oh, you know what? The pallet forks are the front end loader on the other tractor is like the tractor's too small to carry two bags of pig food. I would end up in some trouble. So I think what we're going to do is see if we can reconfigure this bigger tractor here in our shop. And uh, let's see if we can get a front end loader on this thing we can and this is the attachment that we have the front end loader style that we have so I think we'll do that oh and the nice thing is we can keep our three-point attachment on the front so that's good because I also want to look at for our next silage season um, getting a front mower to put on the front of this thing so I think let's uh, let's do this. Let's get the front end loader attachment put on this guy. And then we will pick up the front end loader and we'll get the forks so we can carry the couple of bags of pig food back. I think the last time did we get, we got two last time and it lasted us a couple months, but we have also gone from having seven pigs to having 27 pigs so <laughs> it may not be enough to uh, just do two bags we might have to do more than two bags but let's get this bucket dropped off for now ok 
Okay, let's patch that. And we'll get the forks put on. We'll just take the whole front loader attachment off over here. Pick it up with the other tractor. There it is. Wasn't letting me take it off for a minute there. Okay, so for now, I know I just moved this damn tractor out of this area. I'll put it back in here. <laughs> we'll just put it a little bit further over to the side so we can pull in here for fuel if we need to with the big tractor. All right. Let's go pick up this front end loader with the forks and we'll head to the shop and we'll see if we can fit four bags on on the uh, on the forks here. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll we'll give it a try. this like this so we're a little bit safe driving down the road and uh, let's head to the store pick up some pig food Bags, twenty seven hundred bucks. Let's do it. Oh no, four bags is not twenty seven hundred bucks, it's thirty six hundred bucks. <laughs> the first one and three more. All right, let's get that picked up. And fingers crossed, our forks are long enough that we can get through all four of the bags. Uh, fingers crossed that this tractor is heavy enough. It should be. And, and uh, pick them all up and take them all home. Okay, we got four bags. Too heavy for this tractor. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna have to do is pick up a weight while we're here. I thought this might be something we would need to do, so we'll uh, we'll get her done. It's always good to have a weight, so we will get ourselves a nice big. I don't know what you go for. Gotta be at least at least a one ton weight. Well, let's just get this guy here. Good. Buy that sucker. Okay. And it would be nice if it would spawn right here for us to pick it up, but no such luck. So uh, I don't really want to drop all this stuff, so we'll talk to the talk to the shop here and see if they can bring it on over here with a little forklift and uh, put it in position. We'll get her all attached on. So we'll get that done and then we'll head on back to the shop. All right, we have got the weight attached. Let's just get in here and we will pick that weight up. And hopefully this will allow us to pick these up and we have success. Now the only struggle we're going to have is driving home and trying to look through the bags of pig food. <laughs> and trying not to roll our tractor. We need to make sure we come to a nice slow stop. Cause that one 
ton weight is just barely enough. See? Slowly tip over and put the bags on the ground. Oh, this is... Looks like we should have went with more, more than a one ton weight. That was our turn to go home. But I don't want to do a lip stand with the tractor. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Here we are. We made it back. And surprisingly, I did not tip over any more during that trip. It actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. But, uh, yeah, it's just there's so many turns that we have to do. And it's uh, very, very perilous here with all this food dangling in front of this loader here. So, um... But it, it actually went pretty quick, so let's uh, let's get this dropped into the old pigsty, and we shouldn't have to worry about these guys for quite a few months because um, they're not eating as much as I thought they would. But I just want to make sure that they've got the proper the proper food you know, to keep them healthy. So I want this base food and the protein and the root crops nice and high. Um, so we should be should be good for several months now with these guys. All right, let's get this front loader detached off of this tractor. We'll go put it back away in the shed here. And then I think we're going to pick up the bales. I don't think we're going to have time to do all of the little things that we wanted to do. I wanted to get the other field fertilized and I wanted to look at uh, possibly selling off the tomatoes but we definitely need to get those bales picked up and then on top of getting those bales picked up we have to figure out where in the world we're gonna store, store them. I don't really want to put them in here because it's such a pain to get them out. Um, I think we might Depending on how many bales we have, we might just take this slurry tanker and move it. I know the slurry pickup point is over here, so maybe if we put that slurry tanker right over here, um, then we can drop the bales there. Or we can put the bales where the bale trailer sits, and we can park the bale trailer you know, over in a over in another spot, like the bale trailer could sit here, or we could put the bales here. Yeah, hell, why not? The bales are wrapped. They don't need to be in a barn. Let's put the bales over here, so that we can get at them easy. And uh, but we'll put the slurry tanker here, anyways. I think because I would love to have access to driving through this path again. So let's uh, let's drop off the weight. Let's drop off the front end loader. And let's get the slurry tanker moved and then we'll pick up we'll pick up the bales off the field and get them put away. So let's get get that unhooked. I think we'll put the weight in there as well so that it's all kind of in the same spot. Drop that down. Get that unhooked. All right, so many little uh, things to do. Now, I think getting the uh, the bales off the field is probably going to take us into the evening. We'll be working in the dark again tonight. This is the joys of uh, running a one-man farming operation. You just always more work than you got hands. So... <laughs> um, I know that I haven't put a, any restrictions on about me hiring workers to help with things. Um, I think that maybe when it comes time for the new year, we might end up doing that, getting a worker to uh, deal with helping, helping with fertilizing things and 
doing odds and sods around the farm here to help us out, but I mean, I think for right now we're we're okay. We're not missing out on things. Um, granted, we did miss an opportunity to put some winter wheat or winter barley in the ground, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so we'll uh, we'll not worry about it too too much. Okay, bale trailer and bales. Uh, on another note, for those of you who are watching long into the videos, so this will be near the end of the video, um, I am definitely going to be looking at getting back into doing some live streams in October. So um, I'm not sure what day we'll start. It'll probably be... We'll, we'll jump back into it more than likely the first weekend in October here. And then we'll kind of see what my schedule's looking like and see if we can get... You know, we're, we're definitely not going to be doing like five live streams a week like we were before. That's uh, a little too hectic to jump back into. But we'll definitely be doing at least a couple, I would say. So we'll uh, we'll kind of play it by ear to start, but I'm definitely looking forward to jumping back into the live streaming and get to hang out with you all and have some fun interacting with you all and having you guys interacting with me while we're while we're playing. So um, definitely look forward to uh, jumping back into that ASAP. But for now, let's uh, let's get these bales all picked up off this field and uh, we'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, folks, our silage is all brought over here and put away. It's already started fermenting. It's doing quite well. So uh, let's go get this trailer put away. And we still have some time left in the day, surprisingly enough. I thought for sure it was going to take a lot longer than it did. But uh, we managed to get it done. Pretty decent time. So now, one thing I was kind of concerned about when we were moving the slurry trailer, and I put it underneath that output pipe by the pigsty, I did not see... A little pop-up about loading the slurry into the tanker. I don't know if I'm just not close enough to the, the thing or what the heck is going on. So um, definitely something that we can check into, see. Um, but then I think after we're done doing that we will have enough time in the day we can Go and sell off our tomatoes, make a little bit of money. I'm not going to start fertilizing that field because that's going to take some time. And uh, I just want to get... Uh, I just want to get um, the day kind of kind of done. We're already looking at a pretty long video. I had the long one uh, a couple of videos ago. And it was a little bit longer than I wanted. I want to kind of keep it around a half an hour. And the last one was about 50 minutes. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not seeing an option to uh, load up here. I'm just going to try it. Okay, so it is. It didn't pop up. I just wanted to make sure that there was no issues. So we have 1,260 liters in our little slurry tank. Things are looking good. So uh, let's hop out and we'll disconnect this here. And we'll go grab our front end loader and we'll grab the pallets of tomatoes and we'll get them sold off really quick. And we'll go from there. And I think that'll be a good, a good day. Let's get over to the uh, to the tomatoes here real quick, and get them loaded up, and head on over to wherever the heck it is that we've got to sell them. 
I'll bring you back when we're ready to rock and roll with our tomatoes. amount of time to get these things brought over here <laughs> and put into the truck. Um, I tried to go a little bit crazy. I picked up all four of these pallets at once with the loader and brought them down the back road and almost lost them about halfway. Um, it was definitely an adventure. But let's... Uh, Let's see where this place is. Let's tag this place. I don't even know where they are on the map. So let's see if we can find them. I don't know where we're going. Oh, over here. Cool. So not that far. We can come out of the house and uh, take a left and follow the main road down and we'll be there in no time. So let's, uh, let's go get these guys sold off and... Uh, bring some money into the some much needed money into the farm now we're gonna have to go slow for this drive again because this little half ton pickup truck uh, we've probably got about three tons of tomatoes on here because <laughs> we have the one ton weight on the back of that tractor and even it was uh, it was doing a little bit of struggling while we were uh, while we were driving down that back path there. Holy smokes, looks like we've just stumbled upon the busiest street in the uh, in the map here. Hang on, is that a church? I wonder if that must be a church. Oh, look, there's a little farmer's market over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. We haven't driven down this way yet, so nice to uh, explore this other part of the city. And this is where all the major major stores and productions are right in the heart of downtown in this tiny little town all right well let's uh oh there's another fuel station i've always been using the one over by the uh by the main store but anyways let's uh let's scoot over here to the campground that we're going to oh what is this place you see all those bottles all selling oh all different kinds of milk strawberry milk chocolate milk oh Interesting, interesting. All right. That's something that um, I was kind of wondering if we were going to expand to animals, I thought, because, like, I mean, I haven't done cattle in a really big setting, but uh, I also haven't done sheep before, and I know that sheep generate both wool and milk. So it might be something to explore to give us a couple of more products that we can sell and uh, be another animal type that I have not done before that'll be interesting to explore and learn about. So I think that um, if we can get ourselves a nice piece of land and um, make it so that we can fit a sheep enclosure on it might be worth looking into and everybody's at this campground walking around the lake hard to get across here with the vehicle and drop these tomatoes off <laughs> don't really want to run over any pedestrians here but uh, they're they're kind of jamming up the road okay so we are here let's undo our ratchet straps and watch our tomato sell Too bad, not too bad. Should have been like around the $2,000, $2,200 mark when all said and done. Yeah, $2,155.
Beautiful. Oh, let's close the tailgate. And let's try and get back out of here and head over to the farm and try and run over as few people as possible when we're leaving this place. Alright, we're out. Nice. Okay, well, we're uh, probably going to wrap up for the day because we've had a long, long day. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon here. Getting into the early evening, the sun is going down. So what I think we'll do is we'll bring this episode to a close and uh, we'll come back tomorrow. It will be the second half of November and that'll give us time. We can run the fertilizer on our field and um, get that field ready to go so when spring hits we're Gonna hit the ground running we can decide what crop we're gonna put in there I haven't even looked through the crop list to see if there's any different crops that are added in with this map we may have some exotic crops that we can look at so that we're not just necessarily doing wheat and barley and canola and you know the, the standard stuff if we can get something different it might be worth looking into seeing what kind of prices some of the other crops sell for if there are some exotic crops on this field so um we'll, we'll investigate that when we look at the next episode and we'll make a decision so uh, i'd like to thank everybody for coming out today and um, checking out the episode i hope that you all enjoyed the episode as always i definitely had a, a blast in bringing it to you and uh Really looking forward to seeing some comments and if you guys have any questions any concerns anything you want to ask by all means do so uh, i'm always uh, excited to read your comments and um, and reply for whatever it is that you need but anyways let's get the truck put back to bed here and uh, we will end the episode so once again thank you for coming out hope you had a great one and i hope we'll see you on the next one Take care, everybody.